Well, hello, my YouTube friend. Look at this beauty that we have here. This is the Apex from my friend Victor Barajas, Edison's brother from Shark Nifco, you know. Uh, and I couldn't be happier to be the host of that marvel. Woo! Check <laughs> that marvel. This is how that knife appeared to me uh, when I arrived at the show. Uh, at the ECCKS, uh, damn it, I hate acronyms, <laughs> at the East Coast Custom Knife Show, uh, recently uh, uh, happened in uh, Florida. Uh, that was a great show, a small one, but a great show. I've uh, done a video recently about uh, the whole, <laughs> or my scores, rather, uh, that I made there, uh, and uh, uh, this one was one of them. So I'm going to present the knife while uh, telling you uh, a little bit about uh, how that score happened, actually. So I know the Barajas family for some years now. Uh, Edison, I think it's the, <laughs> he must be the oldest brother, I, I, I assume. At least he's the oldest in the knife-making industry. He started making knives, uh, I don't know if you remember, those crazy multiple grind going from everywhere. I mean... Edison is still one of the craziest cookies I know there <laughs> when it comes to making knives. Uh, and after doing those crazy things, for a minute, he decided to make some more regular grind. But now he's coming back to now grind with like tipless grinds or, or insane grinds. <laughs> That his trademark, you know, you have to be original in this world uh, if you want to exist, and for that, Edison is definitely original. Uh, also, one of his trademarks was to use uh, mostly, you know, like thick blades like that and do crazy, crazy tolerances. Uh, this is like definitely his trademark, and he's been passing that to his brother who came. Uh, right after him, uh, in uh, in the knife-making industry. I call it an industry, but it's, it's a small world, you know, in the, uh, the custom knife world. So, yeah, he came right after him, uh, and he started making knives, uh, you know, as an apprentice, maybe, sometimes, uh, at the beginning. Then he they made the collaboration. Then Vic, uh, Victor, uh, started making knives by his own. Uh, I love this family for a while. I've been uh, knowing them, like I said, from uh, the very early stages of uh, Edison becoming a knife maker. Uh, and I, I, you know, it, for those of you who know them, you know how great they are. They're always, always having fun, always with a smile on their face. Uh, them and um, Will also. Uh, uh, I love this family. I mean, I love this group of people. They are part of me. Definitely, definitely love them. And their wives are crazy also. Crazy, I mean, crazy. <laughs> Not using the right term. They're, they're, they're fantastic. That's what I meant to say. Uh, Mariela, Edison's wife, uh, and Natalie, my lucky charm, who helped me getting that, that knife. Excellent. And they come with their kids. I just love them. That's it. It's simple as that. This is uh, right off the bat, the family that I prefer probably in the knife industry. They are absolutely amazing, amazing. And I love them. Uh, now, why in the hell uh, is that the first knife that I get from Vic? It's very simple. You know, uh, uh, as much as I can love People, I it wouldn't be respectful for me to not own a knife that uh, I don't like. And when I say like, it's more a matter of design than anything else. Uh, and their design is always a little bit, you know, crazy or too crazy for me still for Edison. Uh, and uh, this is it. It's simple as that. I mean, it's just a matter of design and so, therefore, a matter of taste. And since there is no accounting for taste, it's not for me <laughs> to judge a knife from his design. It's just a matter of owning or not owning a knife. So this is why I didn't have any knives now from Victor or Edison. And actually, from Edison, I highly regret. I had Morbius, and I made a video about that crazy build. And I parted with it, but it is still in my uh, scope. I know where it is. And if ever it moves, 
Mr. Jeff, you know that I'll get it back. <laughs> it's been five minutes and I have only, <laughs> only been renting. But you know what? This is a family business. This is a friendship business. This knife is all about friendship for, uh, for me. I love it. And I'm going to present it, for, of course. But uh, uh, I wanted more to discuss about, uh, you know, why I love, what I love about this uh this hobby, which is, you know, of course, collecting knives, I love knives, but, you know, gather with great people, and man, those are fantastic people. Uh, if ever you have the chance uh, to get a knife from them, you, you will be more than happy. And like I said, it's been, I'm sorry, 5 minutes 30, maybe most of you will have stopped <laughs> watching that video, but for those of you who know those guys and who know me, maybe you would have some still some interest uh, to follow on, because now I'm going to start the review. Uh, not the review, actually. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. So, <coughs> what happened? I didn't know about this design. I, I didn't, even when I got it, I didn't know it was called the Apex. <laughs> I just arrived during the show uh, uh, at their table as usual, and I checked the thing, this uh, thing, and immediately it was love at first uh, uh, glance, like that, uh, at first sight. Uh, why? Because the package is... I'm going to review it and, and I'm going to tell you why. But it, immediately I felt for that knife. It had everything that I like about knives. Everything. Everything. And I'm going to review. Hopefully I'll <laughs> have some time to discuss about why I like that knife. But first of all, I had it in hand and I said, well, what the hell? This is just fantastic. And immediately I filled the box with my paper and I had the help of one of my friends also to help me uh, to get that draw. And luckily, uh, I won it. Uh, uh, and it was funny because, you know, Natalie, as I said, I, I, his wife, Victor's wife, uh, knows me also for a while. And she really, since I really showed some interest in it and uh, and it's been a while and it didn't have a knife from them and everything. So, you know, it's kind of family. So they <laughs> she wanted me at the end of the day to, to, to get a knife from Vic. Uh, so she somehow hoped that I would get the, the knife. And when she did the draw and uh, didn't see my name, she was a bit sad. But actually, the name that popped <laughs> was the friend of mine uh, who entered for me in the lottery. So uh, uh, I was happy, Natalie was happy, Victor was happy, everyone was happy, but I'm still really, really, really uh, uh, extremely happy. The bag was filled with paper. This knife was a showstopper. Um, whether it's for his design or for the material, everyone loved that knife as I can now definitely understand. So now, at the end of the day, we'll start the review. No, at the end of the eight minutes, <laughs> we'll start the review. So we have here a package that is just excellent. First of all, what I liked uh, on this knife is the size. It is the perfect size. We have here maybe a 3.5 or maybe a tad less. Uh, but we, with the big tanto that you have here, it looks even smaller, so it's great. Uh, look at the, the handle. It's a very small handle. Look at it. Just the reach for my, my hand. So that package I like. Uh, most of the time, Vic is going to make bigger knives. This is a package. The size of it, first of all, is insane. Then... It's very uh, uh, functional. Look at that. The handle is just perfect. You, the grab of it, you don't have hot spot. It feels so well in the hand. And the flow of it, I don't know about, like I said, no accounting for taste, but look at that flow. It's just phenomenal. Uh, so love it. And the material, what better material than that? You have here uh, my carta. Canvas Mercarta with zirconium uh, bolsters. And I love this pivot that you have here. Look at that. Junction are great. A little bit of chip here on the cut on the micarta. Uh, Vic is still on the learning, I would say, not learning, lear uh, learning, but he still have a, a tad to improve. So that little bit of chip, uh, chipping that you have here on the micarta is one thing that he can improve. But now uh, the, the junctions are perfect here. Check that. Look at this beautiful backspacer. Absolutely flawless here. Uh, I'm sorry when I say learning curvature. Uh, he's, <laughs> he's a great maker. The knife is sublime. But you see, those little details, they can be a little bit improved uh, here. But nothing. That, that's the only thing that I would have to say. This and a bit of stickiness on the lock. But it's rock solid. I'd rather have a bit of stickiness uh, to check that. 
So it's, it's a tiny bit of stickness here, uh, but those are the only thing that I would uh, that I would say maybe that can be improved. But that knife is just excellent, excellent. That and a tiny bit of the on, on the hand rub, as you can see here, uh, it can be a little bit improved. But believe me, they did so well. Check that. I mean, it's almost almost perfect, and I'm really happy that he got to that level, which is now to me the level of a great great maker absolutely love it and again we haven't finished about the design check that beautiful clip in zirconium hidden hardware beautiful look at that i mean i love this size check that you have here only the pivot the pivot uh you have luckily the clip that hid that hides uh, the hardware so it looks almost like if it's a hidden, hidden hardware on that side beautiful beautiful side Absolutely adore, adore that handle uh, and the combo of material is insane. Love it. Here you see the screws, but who cares? Just a beautiful knife. Now let's go with that blade. That blade is insane, insane. Check that design you have here. I mean, how wicked is that? That Tanto is probably one of the most aggressive Tanto that I've ever seen. And check that tip. And oh man, this would trust, thrust. <laughs> any any like material any i don't know armor that you would have uh, this tip is so strong and and so wicked <laughs> that's a thruster for sure you can definitely use it for small cutting tasks using here the tip for any kind of task i mean this would <laughs> this uh, tip is like you can do whatever you you can thrust and you can cut you can cut your apple with that it's it's <laughs> It's a bit on the thick side here, but just the, the tip uh, uh, can be uh, the functional uh, uh, cutting length on that knife. Excellent. Uh, and here you have this side also, <laughs> that edge that you can use also. But man, uh, it's definitely a nice EDC, but um, even more impressive than that is that wicked, wicked design. Now check the thickness of that blade. And here you have a dramatic hollow, and I will never be able to show you. I mean, you have to understand that from here, it starts with that thickness here, and here it gets to a very thin edge. And it's just so beautiful. Now, I want to see, you to see on the tip how impressive it is. But you cannot appreciate, unfortunately, the, the, the hollow that is dramatic and beautiful. As I said, the hand rub is excellent on the main bevel. Uh, I don't care about seeing the grind line. Oh, you have to actually. You cannot do anything else than uh, showing the grind lines here. It could be mirrored, but uh, uh, I like that finish. On the flat, like I said, a tiny bit of discrepancy on the hand rub, but it's it's just excellent, excellent. And man, I love the way it's cut here. You know, you have here a flat side, and here it's going down here. So it's all, all, all about the wickedness of that blade that looks amazing, amazing, amazing. And the overall package is insane. Absolutely adore it. I don't know about you, but <coughs> when I look at a knife like that, it's, I mean, I, I need to get it. <laughs> Even if it was not from Vic, and, and that's the icing on the cake. It comes from a maker that I love. Now, let's talk about the action, shall we? Uh, I love this uh, tab. It's not too much uh, obnoxious. You have the jimping here, the reach is excellent. It could be a little bit smaller, but who cares? When it's open, it gives uh, a nice uh, guard, uh, and that is good, okay? You have some jimping here, which is efficient, nice. Uh, like I said, the, the, the grip is perfect uh, and very secured. No front grip, but it's a small knife, so that's fine like that. I mean, you can do whatever, whatever task you want, uh, this will perform well. Uh, engagement is perfect, early and very secured. Like I said, a bit of stickness. You hear a little sound here, uh, but nothing crazy. Now, check those tolerances. Oh, we are heading to the 15 minutes. I want you to see those. Those are the best tolerances you can find in the market, uh, almost. I mean, this... Uh, uh, I don't even know, uh, uh, in the metric system we have here, millimeters, it's like one hundredth of a millimeter uh, uh, on the side, and this blade will touch, and you will have some scratches. Check those tolerances. They are insane. Ridiculous tolerances. Absolutely phenomenal. Of course, it has to be spot on. <laughs> Otherwise, it would scratch all over the place. The action, like I said, is splendid, and it's smooth. Uh, uh, it's smooth. I mean, nothing crazy, but it's smooth. I like it. Uh, but 
like I said, the tolerances are the most incredible uh, I can think of. Uh, overall, we are now to the 15 minutes. I absolutely adore that knife, as you can um, hear now. Uh, and it was a pleasure for me uh, to make that video. Bye-bye, my friend.